what's going on everybody? Mike Adams from BTO Beat the Odds Training and today in this video I wanted to go in depth on what do I look for when I'm training my receivers on snap downs or breakdowns or really any kind of movement when it comes to stopping on a dime and changing direction. So first thing I always look for is do the hips drop violently. Alright, you hear a lot of coaches they'll say like snap the hips and everything. That is so important because it leads to this second point of dropping your body weight or your center of gravity. So in biomechanics, whenever you drop your weight or your center of gravity, the more efficient you're able to move. So if you watch a lot of guys like in the league, like Julio or Jerry Judy, I love the way they move, the way they snap down. They always drop down fast and they're low to the ground. Whenever they're low to the ground, they're able to change direction. So even with my DBs that I train and stuff like that, I always make sure they are low to the ground on their snap side. You always have to play low, right? You have to have a good center of gravity, all right? So last, what I look at is their feet. Is their feet dead? Are they stopped? Are they not moving, right? They're not active. You have to keep your feet active in order to move out officially, right? So my receivers, on their comebacks and curls and stuff like that, I like to teach getting out in like three steps and playing on the outside foot, which I'll go in more of on the field. So those are my three things that I look for on snap down. So let's get to the field. All right, so here's this drill that I like to use for breaking down or snapping down. All right, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need at least three cones or three markers. Again, if you don't have cones at home, use sneakers, just get it done, all right? So with my receivers, I like lining up in my receiver stance, right? this cone now this one is going to be the hardest okay because it's the farthest away so the more velocity you're going to actually pick up or acceleration right so you're coming up stick this leg out decelerate one two three come out back down to the longest one back to the beginning snap down one two three get out now we're going to this middle one one two three and done all right so what I like about this is that, again, we can run fast, you're running hard here. See celery coming around fast here, boom. And this last one helps you be able to change directions a lot quicker in small, tight spaces as well. Boom. All right, so again, I want you guys to really notice my leg, like my stance, right? So I'm coming out on the longest one. I stick this leg out, right? I have to hit heel first. In order to decelerate, you have to hit heel first, right? So you have to be able to use your hamstring and your glutes. Those are your decelerators and movements. So I decelerate. One, two, three, okay? So again, decelerate. One, I'm a one, two, and then three. Come back around. Drop my hips. Drop my center of gravity. It's down low. One, two, three. Same thing. One, two, three. All right, so that's a snap down drill. Try it for yourselves. Let me know how it worked for you. Hit me up in the comments, DMs, anything. What do you guys want to see next on how to do things or certain drills? Appreciate the love and support. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.